Here's what I really think of Spain. Who will make the cut? Who will win our hearts? MJT Reviews. Mitchell James calling. Welcome back to MJT Reviews. And here is Spain. And it's called Lavenda by Mickey. <laughs> And here are my top three songs from the Spanish National Selection. by Mickey. Let's dissect it, shall we? And this, by the way, for anyone who was wondering, this isn't my actual bedroom. It's, I know it's kind of like generic looking and there's a, there's a boat at the back, but it's not actually my room. So I didn't know if people were like, his room seems very barren, but no, it's not my room. So, uh, yeah, let's go on with Lavender. Overall, this is a nice song. It's a fun, fast-paced song with a hooky chorus and the melody is actually quite difficult. If you hear parts of the chorus, I don't think many people could sing a cover very well of this song. It actually takes a lot of skill to be able to sing that in like a melodic phrasing. And this is definitely a party song. You could go out and play this like in a megaphone or something. <laughs> megaphone. Or like a beatbox and people be like yeah party in the streets of Spain. Like I said this is an up-tempo song and I love listening to up-tempo songs. I don't think this would be a song that I would electively listen to. I wouldn't put this on Spotify by choice. I don't think I'd ever be personally in a mood for this song. If I was in a mood for that kind of song I would be looking at different kind of songs because it wouldn't give me what I'm looking for in a song. It's like a very tame version of a regional Mexican song. I'm thinking of Selena, songs like that, which are great. I love listening to that, but this is much lighter and fluffier, and that's already a really light, fluffy sound, so I'm not sure. Light, fluffy, fast-paced, up-tempo, but it's just not doing it for my ears. But I can hear those harmonies in this song and I'm loving it. Especially in the second verse, the harmonies matching the entire time were brilliant. That leads me to having a really good backing vocalist on stage. Vocalists, vocalist. I think in this particular case, you need vocalists for the song, but maybe just have one vocalist matching in the verse. But I am always surprised when people have just one backing vocalist to do a really hard job. Look at Kelly Calais, they had like one guy <laughs> singing back up for her in a huge song. It really depends on how well the harmonies can be executed live for it to be great. But I love the quality in the studio. I like the part of the song where they sing Lo Kelle and it builds up in harmonies as it goes along. <laughs> But I think the really cool quality is that Mickey, the lead singer, actually sings the harmonies. So they'll sing the low locale and then someone builds up, builds up like just behind him and he keeps adding up, adding up, which is really unique to do. Usually the lead singer will not do that. It's like a job for the backing singers. But the, it also shows that he is a great singer. I think this whole song shows that he has great artistry and just little things like that work wonders with the listener and be like, oh, okay, like that's really special to hear. And it, it needs those qualities for a song that's very, like I said, light, fluffy, fast paced. I'm sure many people will like songs like this, so I'm not saying it's bad. It's not my taste because like I said, it's very fluffy up tempo for me, but I know that many people like this and to have those qualities, it will just make them like it even more.
I will say after the locale part and everything, it was building up for something really climactic. I was waiting for the big moment, the big finale, the last chorus, see what he does. Is he going to sing a little bit, change the melody up and kind of add a dynamic to it? But it fell flat and they just went to silence and then repeated the same chorus in the same volume, the same energy. And it was like, oh, it's kind of underwhelming. <laughs> You didn't go down, but you never moved up. You kind of did a step forward and then a step back to where you were at. So very similar to Belgium, like how he did with Wake Up. I feel like this has a very similar quality. And I feel like a lot of people need to know you can't just have a middle section to progress and not actually progress. The middle section, the reason why it's so pro kind of progressive is that it's really just building up to a big moment. And a big moment doesn't mean let the beat drop, like I always say. Especially at the end, it actually is a build up to kind of like more of an epic sound kind of thing. And, and this just fell short of that. So it was rather underwhelming. But like I said, I saw some great qualities in this. And they did well for the lead vocalist. The vocal arrangements were wonderful in this song. Structure, light, fluffy. I don't think it... It's not what I'm looking for for a winner anyway, let's just say that. So that's it for now. Please like, comment and subscribe to see all my videos. Comment below, I always love to know what you guys are thinking and see your opinions. Also, I have the jury and they're going to be discussing Spain and they're giving completely different thoughts. So check that out, see what they think, the experts. And until next time, bonsoir Europe and goodbye. Who will make the cut? Who will win our hearts? MJG